Hey folks, it's Chad again with RV1 of Greensboro, the Airstream dealer for Greensboro, North Carolina. I am standing in front of a 2023 Integra Steam 29V. It's a fantastic floor plan, but not only that, this is gonna be the top of the line Class C that you can get with Integra. And potentially as far as this the, this market, one of the top uh, floor plans and uh, Class Cs you can get. So this is gonna have a lot of your options that you might have to actually spec on other uh, brands you're gonna already have on this one. This is also full body paint, so you can see that beautiful kind of light blue grays and then darker grayish colors there. It almost blends in with the sky, as you can see there in the background. Um, with the with the Steam, this is gonna be the step up from the Odyssey. I've got a couple of videos um, on my channel that's of the Odyssey. So the Odyssey is gonna be Integra's entry level. Now Integra doesn't truly have an entry level because all of their C's have a, a fiberglass roof, including the Steam. Uh, they also come standard with most of your options, uh, as opposed to something like the Red Hawk, where you can get a Red Hawk that's like down and you know kind of down and dirty uh, as far as options. You know, you can add you know ten, fifteen thousand dollars of options onto um, a Red Hawk. You can't do that with a with the Odyssey or a Steam because they pretty much already have the options. Uh, there's just a few options that you can get. Now, one option with the Esteem is the full body paint, which this one has. There is a partial pot body paint option that you can get, which does save you a little bit of money. And I'll be honest, the partial paint does look really good. Now, I'll say the Esteem is probably my favorite Class C that you can get. The one downside to the Esteem is you can't get the shorter floor plans. So if you wanted like a 24 or a 28 foot floor plan, uh, you're not going to really see that with the steam. It's going to be a little bit bigger. So again, my name is Chad Watson, RV1 of Greensboro. If you have any questions about this unit or any other motorhome out there, especially Integra, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. We're going to do a walk around the outside, the inside, and I'll hit a few things that I like and don't like about this RV. All right, let's get started. That's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. It's a little on the chilly side, but it's a perfect day, perfect time of the year to jump into your next motorhome, uh, to come out do you know, to purchase a motorhome. This is kind of the motorhome season for us here in North Carolina. Now this Integra, as I mentioned, full body paint, you can save a little bit with the partial paint. Now, one thing I do really like about Integra and Jayco is their front cap. Now it is a fiberglass molded front cap. It's seamless. So if you look at the, the seam along this side, that, that section there, along the, across the front, and even this lower seam here, or this lower section, there's no seam. The seam for an Integra and a Jayco is all the way tucked up here. That's your seam. So for it to leak at any of those corners, it would actually have to go down below, travel across six inches, turn up, and then come back to get that leak. Now you are going to have a seam in this area here and then across the top is the, where the fiberglass roof and the front cap connects. There seems there that you'll want to watch out for, especially on the top. But the biggest area is that they saw issues in, historically has been in this front section here. So Integra and Jayco got rid of that. It's seamless. It's one piece fiberglass. You've got the front windshield that is an automotive glass and it's automotive bonded. Now with this, you're going to have the new Ford V8. Now the V8 is um, 350 horsepower 468 foot pounds of torque it's a massive engine the, all the customers i have that have this v8 really like it it's torquey you get a little bit better fuel economy now with the 29v your overall length is going to be 32 foot 6 inches your overall height is going to be 11 foot 8 inches you're going to have a 30 uh, excuse me 47 gallon freshwater tank a 41 gallon gray tank and a 32 gallon black tank now one thing that i really like that integra does is the easy drive elite package that you're going to get on the steam now that's going to have a computerized balance drive shaft it's going to have a uh, heavy duty stabilizer bar on the back which i'll try to show you here in a second you're also going to have an upgraded um, stabilizer bar on the front you're going to have the hell wig, wig uh, helper springs on it. You're also going to have upgraded dampers, uh, not dampers, uh, isolation 
uh, yeah, dampers on that system. So this should drive quite a bit better than what you're used to. Um, it should ride better than what you would expect with a C. And the fact that this one's a little bit longer for a 29, the 29 V is, you know, that 30 foot, 30 plus foot range. It will also ride, it will ride a little bit better as well. Now with this one, you do have the auto level that's standard. You can see that there. And then back in that area there, you do have the fiberglass steps as part of the esteem and a little bit of storage there. You're going to have a nice outside TV here with speakers. This is going to be your propane tank there. A little bit more storage right there. You have your water heater, furnace, the backside of the refrigerator vent is there. A little bit more storage right there. A really large storage area here in the back. Does it go up? Does have the light there with the motion sense. And then you have the slam latch to trick. It's the prep close and press. Slam and press. So there's the back side of the steam. That's a gorgeous paint job. Full walkable fiberglass roof, backup camera there. And then you've got your, your stinky hose storage in the bumper, 7,500 pound hitch there. All LED lights, rear window, great, op great option to have. Double slides on this driver's side. And you've got a good, another large storage area. You've got your valves for winterization and so forth. And then your low point drains are right there. You've got your black and gray tank dump there. Of course, it's gasoline, gas generator as well. Your city water connect, your black tank flush. Does have an outside shower behind this door, hot and cold water. There's additional storage here. And then even on the 30 amp plug there is power additional power there uh you still get a slim latch i think that's funny that door that small still has a slim latch additional storage there so that's all of your outside storage on the esteem kind of give you a view from this side from your driver's side there now Another thing you're going to get with the Esteem over the Odyssey is going to be the upgraded chrome mirrors. And the mirrors are going to have the integrated uh, side view camera. So left and right is integrated into the mirror itself. On your Odyssey, it's going to be mounted here on the sidewall. As I head to, to the inside to do uh, an inside walkthrough, I want to talk about the 2 plus 3 warranty with Integra. So only... I only manufacturer in the industry that I know of right now that's doing a two year warranty on components and then a three year warranty on your uh, structure. What that will mean for you is you can get two full camping seasons with a warranty as, as opposed to one year, one camping season with a warranty. And then, you know, for, for a lot of us, we go into the winter time we might put it away, store it for for the winter time and not really get to use it much. Um, and that's not a benefit. Like you don't get to have the, the benefit of camping with it multiple times because you, it's winter. So a two year warranty gives you the ability to have two full camp seasons of, you turn the radio off. Two full camp seasons of camping uh, with a unit, with warranty, and to be able to address any errors that might come up. Integras are built fantastic. Some of the best built RVs in the industry, especially with motorhomes, but they are built by humans and you want to have that warranty and have the ability to um, have two camping seasons. So as you come in, the first thing I want to show you is uh, it is the, the Lippard auto level system. There is the controls for that. It does have solar on board. That's the solar controller there. Uh, you've got your main power disconnect here. Your awning in and out button is right there. Power step. You can switch the speakers from inside to outside. And then you, there is your exterior lights, which does have a dimming uh, capability. A little dimming switch there. That's pretty neat. That is there. 
Yeah, let's see. Should be one battery here. Now you you'll have one battery there, but room for two that you can upgrade to a second house battery there. And then you can see the floor. Now this has the theater seat option. Those seats uh, do recline. Very attractive seats. And then the one thing about the 29V that I really like is the amount of counter space that you get with this one. Now the con that I would say is gonna be the TV placement. We'll go over that in a second. But you have a beautiful cabinet. It's kind of a gray color with this particular option. You can see there the upgraded. I mean, this looks like what Integra puts on some of their diesel motor homes. Good storage, double shelves there, which is nice. A lot of, a lot of uh, manufacturers that see don't give you the shelf. It's just a big open space. So that's nice. Microwave power is right there. And then you're going to have the Corian countertop. It's a not just hard surface countertop. You've got a tower of power right here with USB A and C and wireless charging on top. You do have the awning style windows underneath this uh, attractive. Best way to open that. There we go. It's going to be two bowl stainless steel sink. And you see that undermounted. You have your three burner stovetop here that does fold back. Give you a little bit of a guard there, but three burners. You do have the, the traditional RV oven there and then a really nice stainless steel high point microwave. I like that it's a residential size microwave, the little shelf there as well. See storage above, yep, storage there. Now let's see, what kind of drawers do we have? Got full extension drawers, solid. That, that's gonna be a little bit softer there, but solid wood here and here. Full extension, full extension. And underneath the sink, oh, yeah, double shelf, two shelves there. Nice large space there for uh, trash can potentially. Now that water hose that you see there is just for winterization. Uh, there's nothing, that's not broke. That's the winterization hose. A lot of you suck up, use the water pump to suck the, fr the Freon. Antifreeze, excuse me, not Freon, antifreeze into the system. Another three sets of full extension drawers there. So a tremendous amount of kitchen storage uh, for a Class C motorhome. Yep, storage above the door. Now you've got your main control here, uh, your tank heaters, this is equipped with tank heaters, water pump, your LP propane gas switch, electric element for your water heater. Uh, slide room two, slide room one, your generator start stop, and then your generator hours. And then you've got your your uh, gauges here for battery fresh black and gray tank. So you can monitor your tanks. Now this does have the over cab bed that will handle up to 750 pounds. You do have a blind that covers that front windshield. At night, of course, you can run that down and then during the day, run it back up and have a fantastic view of the water, the beach, the mountains, wherever you love to go camping, It'd be a great view. And you do have, it does come with covers for the windows up front too, so you can get that privacy there. And then you have the dinette here that does also turn into sleeping. Uh, you could put two, two kids there, uh, potentially one adult, depending on how tall they are. You've got some additional storage above the theater seats. Good storage there. A lot of good storage for, for a 33 foot motor home. The pantry, yep, so we've got a pantry there. I would like to see some adjustable shelves there. That would be cool. And then a little bit more storage there. And then, now you do have a propane slash electric refrigerator and freezer now one thing i do like is it has this is norcold but it has the wood inserts that matches the rest of your cabinet it's a very nice residential look it's really high end look now it does come with a thousand watt inverter that control to switch that on and off is here 
And then this does have a power control system to manage the power coming in. It's a 30 amp plug. And one of the options I didn't mention that this has is going to be two ACs. So one AC is there and coming back around. The second AC is right here. A class C 33 foot motorhome has to have two ACs. Um, you just need two ACs. So what that system will do is manage those compressors so they're not kicking on at the same time and will alternate them so they can run without giving you any issues on your 30 amp, but you're gonna get double, almost double the amount of cooling power in this coach. Now it does have a furnace and those vents are off of the floor, which is a big plus. I like to see the vents not on the floor for the furnace because you're sweeping, 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 you sweep into the furnace vent. All right, so let's move, you can see the window drapes. There's your AC control there. It is a Coleman mock. Now this is a split bath, which is, you know, synonymous with Airstream, but not always with um, your motorhome. So this is gonna be um, a kind of dual purpose door here. So you can open this door and there's a spot right there that will hold this door open for you. And then you can have kind of an ensuite access to the shower and the bathroom. Now let's see. That porcelain commode and sit down on it see how it fits oh yeah yeah i mean there's plenty there's plenty of room here i mean i've got plenty of room this passes for sure uh small sink there full of paper holder is there in a good location move back up as i mentioned that is a porcelain toilet there you've got some full extension drawers there a little bit of storage underneath the sink looks like your water filter is there and then a good size medicine cabinet actually almost a double medicine cabinet there that's really nice and you do have a large window in the bathroom area with of course a privacy blind right there little hook there there is a vent above not a fantastic fan but there is a vent with a fan right there you could swap that out with a fantastic fan if you wanted to and then a great size shower i'm gonna step in i'm 511 kind of give an idea of yeah i mean 511 there's plenty of room if you're tall there, there's no should be no problems for you to be able to take a shower here you do have the removable where you can move around the shower head this is adjustable as well your Controls are down there. A little shut soap holder right there. There is a hanger here. This can actually hang things like a towel. That's not one of those strings where it can't really hold anything. You do have a skylight there to add a little bit more room if you needed to, but there's plenty of room in this class C. And this is the, and then a couple of places to, to store your, your uh, shampoos. Now, one thing this doesn't have that would be nice is something here to hold the shampoo in place that is a situation where you want to put it up while you're camping and take it down when you're not camping and it doesn't go all the way up it's more like your traditional residential shower where it stops at some point and then there's a little bit of wall there and then separating the bedroom from the bathroom if you wanted to make that just a separate bathroom and kind of private you do have this accordion style door that will pull across and shut that completely off your sega ac control is right there uh, queen size bed here and you do have power there 110 power now that's a usb charger but it also has uh, the wireless charging on top so you can just set your phone there if you don't have a phone with wireless charging there's also one there you can still use the usb to charge it you have reading lights above it's like yep some good deep storage above the bed Let's see, this is the bed. Yep, the bed does lift up. Doesn't have shocks. And that is that part of that outside storage I showed you a second ago. So you could access that from the inside or the outside. And you've got your breakers there, your fuses right there. And then let's swing around to the opposing wall of the bedroom. Hello. So double wardrobe. You've got a nice wardrobe there in the middle 
and you've got a well small tv still tv for the size of room is adequate but it is small now there is storage behind that tv so you can add you know a safe there but quite a bit of storage and see what kind of full extension drawers again now one thing i see now with this one not to say now too much but this one drawer here i'm 511 that's almost too tall for me something to think about and then two deep drawers that's nice and check out okay wardrobe there is the bed cover the we just haven't put that on yet and it's actually storage above and then you got your wardrobe hanger there like that it's a good use of space all right there's your ladder for for the over over the cap bunk more storage above the pack oh and there's two more drawers down here so you could give the top two drawers you could give those two drawers for the tall person in the family those two drawers for the short person in the family and share those two drawers there and let's see i want to see if there's power yep yeah, there is power on this side it's down there not the ideal location but there is power on that side i do like that this has the opposing windows that both open but also the rear window that gives you a lot of light coming in to the back of the coach i'm going to move forward now that little hanger there that's just when you're when you have a, a child up here you can get put this here just to help keep them up there and, and you know them not fall down. Um, you do have some booster seats. Both the captain's chairs will swivel around. Those booster cushions just set in there to get, kind of get you higher. That's not going to be an ideal place for lo like for lounging. That's just a great option when you have some extra folks over. And you're entertaining and you want to give them somewhere to sit. And it is the updated Ford steering wheel and dash. And Integra gives you the Sony infotainment, has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It doesn't have its own maps, but with it having Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you have the ability to show maps with your phone. It's a great system. It works really well. Uh, of course, you have your AC controls. The center, these two are just for power, and that's USB A and C. This one here, this USB A, is the one that's actually connected to the back of the radio. You've got cup holders there, plenty of storage. And then you do have powered windows, power door locks. The driver's side is automatic up and down. The passenger side is not. Your window controls, or uh, excuse me, mirror controls right there. And your heated mirror switch is there. Okay, this is going to be the end of the walk around, the walkthrough of the 2023 Integra Steam 29V. Um, thanks for watching. If you made it to this point, I really appreciate that. If you have any questions on the, the 29V or any of the other Integra motorhomes, feel free to reach out. My contact information is below. I'll be happy to help you. I hope you're having a great day. Happy RVing, and hopefully we'll talk soon. Thanks. Bye.